my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. I'm doing great. We're gonna do something we haven't done for quite a while. We're going to an old fashioned car show. Someone on my channel tipped me off to the Quail Run RV Park annual car show, said that this was pretty cool, that I should check it out. And I was in Central Florida still, so that's where we are. Let's go see what we can see. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. When I first pulled in, they were directing me to parking. I saw quite a lot of people walking around, so this must be a pretty popular show. I don't think there's any particular theme. I think it's just anybody that wants to show off a car they're proud of. Look at that one. That one's nice. Look at the lights on these off-road Jeeps. And that's what an off-road Jeep can do. Look at the angles that thing's on. Pretty much go anywhere. There's a lot of cool old cars over here. Look at this Mustang. It's beautiful, huh? Convertible. Look at that. Old Chevy truck. It's like a delivery truck. Or it's been converted to being delivery. A duster. 340 duster. Oh, look at this, this old hot rod. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow. Nice. That is nice. Oh, another classic. That is a beautiful Bel Air. On this one, they put Jabber Jaws. Here's a Camaro SS. That looks like a 1970 Nova behind it. That is a cool hot rod. I always wanted something like that. Oh, I see a bunch of cool cars over here. This is a 55 Bel Air. Beautiful color. Two tone. Another beautiful color. New entrant. Oh, that is beautiful. 1932. Here's a convertible. Oh, that is amazing. It looks like an old gangster car. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's so cool. All the way down to the hood ornament. That is amazing. This says this was this guy's first truck. He got it when he returned from Vietnam in 1968. Stored it in his barn for 42 years. 1936 Chevy 256 cylinder. Look at this orange Chevy Camaro. I love it. I love the stripes and everything. Beautiful car. Oh, look at this one. I've never seen this GMC on the side. Wow. I'm so glad I came to this. I'm kind of impressed. Wow, we have a ton of stuff to see. Yeah, that's good. Forgive me if I'm talking a lot or um, 
or doing shorter clips. It's just because the music that they're playing here is all copyrighted music. Ford Fairlane. Ooh, man, that looks great. That looks so cool. Look at the interior. They even call it the little darling. Oh man, that's beautiful also. Yeah, I love the cars out here. These people really, really have some great automobiles. Look at this little one. Man, not on my best day could I fit in that car. It's a one-seater. It's cool looking though, I gotta say that. It is very cool looking. This makes me feel like I'm in the wonder years. Galaxy 500. I'm hoping we'll stumble into some crazy weird movie car that we didn't know was gonna be here. That's happened several times at these. That's a cool car. That color is awesome on that. Wow. That's a Plymouth something. My grandpa's probably screaming at the screen right now what it is. Plymouth satellite. This one's kind of cool because it kind of looks like an Ohio State Buckeyes themed car. Wouldn't surprise me. Man, that's cool. That's a 1941 Ford Coupe. I really like the body style of that car. This one's known as the Baby Benz. 1991. Kind of reminds me of, I think his was a BMW, but defending your life when he goes to pick up his car and he thinks, he's like, oh yeah, I finally got one of these high-end cars. Then he sees it next to like the luxury style and he just is like totally horrified by how small it is. So this is a rare Chevy S Impala from 66. Only one of 797 built with six cylinder 250 engines. Huh. Monte Carlo. That one just says it's an old Ford hot rod with Chevy power. It doesn't have any years or anything attributed to it. Looks like another Corvette. A lot of people here getting their hot dogs and their drinks and everything. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. That's kind of cool. Very communal thing. This is great. 61 Mach 1 Mustang. Oh, look at this. Thunderbolt. Another Ford Fairlane. I don't know, you know? The one thing, I get it, people wanna show off their engines and stuff, but I always feel like if I were gonna display a car, I think it looks better when you have the hood closed. Man, that's posh. Mercedes, old Mercedes. That's 1929, that could have been the same type that Clark Gable is out driving around. 1933 Ford Street Rod. Oh, you see that orange one back there? My pal Eric Singer would love that. That wagon. He's got a weird thing for station wagons, old station wagons. On our way, I noticed this. This is a Disney themed mini ghost from Haunted Mansion. Yeah, this one. He would love that. That's actually a pretty cool color. I like everything about it. 
56. All right, looks like there's a few more down here. See, this car is awesome. And it has a really cool blue stripe right up the center that you can barely see because the hood's up, but. Pretty cool. That's a 65 Chevy Corvair Corsa. It says the car that made Ralph Nader famous. <laughs> Here's a couple of them. Here's a red one, red and blue. Trunks in the front. Look at that. That's awesome. Ford Fairlane, they even have an old ad. See your Ford dealer today. Man, that is cool. And of course the interior. I just noticed where the side view mirrors are instead of being up here, they're actually up there on both sides. Looks like something Magnum would drive. Where's Tom Selleck? Nope, Corvette. Wow, look at that 31 Apache. By the way, I'm not showing every car. There are just way too many. I'm just showing my favorites. And ones that I find to be really unique. Like that one. That just looks like an old movie car. I like that two-tone street rod. This might be my favorite one of the show so far. That's hard to top. You know what I would have done though a little differently? Right at the edge of all the flames I would have painted like chrome all the way around for like just an added touch. 59 Pontiac Bonneville. The guy walking by just said it was like riding on the seas riding in one of these. <laughs> That's great. Here's a 48 Mercury Coupe, which I like and I really like the light blue flames on it as well. You see those? Then we got to see what's over here. Here's a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Two tone. This over here. Cutlass 442. Cool old hot rod. I like the colors. Pretty cool. Then the one next to it, they put like the hot dog tray up there. A little added effect. Forty-six to You heard him, 32.5. I'd probably be more inclined to buy this one. Something really, really over the top. Whoever recommended this to me, um, thank you. You were right on with this one. I was kind of roped in because I was thinking, hey, what if this is like the one RV resort that everybody that has classic cars all goes to every year for like the <laughs> snowbird season and I don't know about it. So maybe that's what this is. I don't know. Lots of happy people out here though. Lots of people laughing and families out here. It's a good time. Looks like some people are out of here. This was a three hour car show, I believe. All right, my friends, we're going to call it a day. I want to thank Ben Newsom for becoming my newest Patreon. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. If you're new here, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. See you all next time. Goodbye.